Hello guys, welcome to another Blender in the Sky tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this awesome building system which you probably saw in my latest video. If not, go check it out. So let's jump into this. So what I've prepared here is a little scene with a landscape. You can walk around in it and nothing too special. So first of all, what you'll need is a cube and please call this cube cross it's just a name you have to have that name on the cube and then you have to apply that small script that will be in the description so we will call that mouse.3d um, no mouse sorry mouse3d.py and then you will just copy that script in from the description and then all you need to do is select your ground plane, your landscape, and add uh, two mouse sensors. One will be mouse over, and to restrict where we can play stuff, we will call uh, only have that possible over ground, and of course, our ground has to have the ground property. And then um, we want to have a movement sensor, and these two have to have specific names. So the over sensor has to be called over. And the movement sensor has to be called move, which are the names over here. You can change them, but then you have to adjust these names too. And then we will add the script. And now our cube will be a sensor too, and it will detect actors. So let's check that out really quick. Yeah, as you can see, now the cube follows our mouse position in 3D space. That's pretty cool. And now let's grab the cube up on Z to make the center of the cube on its ground plate. And this will make the cube not stick through the ground anymore. Yeah, it's so much to that. So if you scale down that cube, um, you will get better results. So I'd like you to scale down that cube. And then we have to have some objects to place in our scene, or at least one. So we'll quickly go and model a, a bed for that example. So scale this thing, cube, duplicate that, rotate. So of course you can use any item that you want to be placeable. You can quickly add new items to this system. But for now we're gonna use this quick bed. Duplicate this. Okay, there we go. Let's call this thing bed. It's gonna be our basic bed. And let's give this a new material to make it look a little bit more bedish like. Don't know if you can say that, but who cares? Okay, that's our bed. Okay, so quickly we have to center the beds, the origin to the bottom of the bed Pre uh, yeah, to, no, to 3D cursor and let's grab that bed down a little bit you will see why later so this is gonna be the bed that is gonna be edited, uh, edited in the scene but first we have to have a preview of the bed where it's gonna be placed and this is gonna be bed preview and it's gonna have another material, it's gonna be green and it's gonna be transparent so this bed will be moved on another layer and this bed will be placed at the cube's position so now if we parent that to the cube we should see, we get into the game we have this bed preset preview parent it to our mouse cursor, make this a little bit less transparent. Yeah, and that's a preview of our bed. So now, if we click, we want to add the real bed instead. So we have to have a mouse sensor left button, and then we add the object bed, as simple as that. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, there's our little bed, but why is it that small? We want to have this big bed, like in the preview, right? Oops. So, yeah, that's because some scaling issues. You can see the scale of this cube is 0.25 and it should be 1. To apply that, you can press Ctrl A and apply all scale. 
So now, if we go in, we can place the bed exactly the same size as we want it to be. Nice. We can instead scale this thing to scale the bed down. So we have a nice little bed. Okay. We can make this thing invisible right now. And yeah. Now let's talk about rotating the bed so we can have even more creativity, more freedom. So we will have to have F two mouse sensors, one wheel up, one wheel down, and two motion actuators. Pretty simple. And you want to turn these on true level triggering. I don't know why, but um, for me it worked better with my mouse scrolling then. So one is going to rotate it about four degrees on the Z and one about minus four degrees. Let's check this out. We can rotate our bed. Isn't that amazing? So place the bed, it's rotated accordingly, place another one, place another one, really cool, right? So it should be a little bit bigger. Good. Another thing that is really cool to have is to have an always sensor and to have that thing track the, to the player. So this thing's gonna track to the player, Z axis and negative Y with probably a time of 5. And as you can see now, if we rotate, the bed will also rotate, but we can still rotate it and place it later on, and it will stay the same. So we can place some more beds. Now the bed preview bed pushes us away if it gets new to the player. Simply make this thing a no collision, or probably a sensor. So yeah, let's see what else we can do. Why should we do make this thing a sensor? Because we want the bed only be visible, to, uh, only be placeable if we are in a certain radius of the player. So for that we have to have another state. And we have to have this thing always invisible on this state. Because we can't place it here. And then we, if we get near to the player, have a player um, property on your player uh, with a distance of 10 or something like that it will switch to the first state and on the first state we have to add some things, we have to make it always um, visible and also we have to have another near sensor near the player by 10 by 10 invert so if it's not near the player anymore it will switch to state 2 right so if you get near if you look on the ground near you you can place the bed but back there you can't and then you can again and then you can't and that's pretty cool right that's how easily you can do it but that's it for this tutorial hope you liked it and yeah Check out my other videos and see you next time. Bye.